Hello, what is up everyone? Uh, so, um, just wanted to make a quick announcement while I sketch on my uh, little thing I'm working on here. If you are in the LA area, um, I will be teaching character design fundamentals um, here in Burbank while at, uh, at a place called Brainstorm. I've decided that this will pro yeah, it's, pro it's probably going to be my last time teaching anywhere for a while. Um, because I'll be moving on to other things. But yeah, so the class is eight week, weeks long. It starts pretty soon, and um, there's limited seats, obviously, because it's in a physical place. But I kick it off with foundations and then for the first few weeks and then jump into actual character designs for your own projects. But uh, having said that, let's kind of just close this out and then take a look at some student work from last term. All right, so as I said, uh, we start out with foundations, and uh, here's some examples. And this is actually Kevin Fleeman. He did some really awesome stuff. The first uh, few weeks, we, we go over gesture and that basic cylinder mannequin technique that I've kind of uh, started to implement in my own workflow. And it's pretty, pretty fun. Um, and then uh, you can see here, like, we go through different exercises to cover different poses and how to put more dynamics into the poses, things like that. So, uh, but from there we jump onto basic, very basic muscle uh, anatomy. How to kind of uh, apply the different muscle groups on the, the mannequin itself to kind of just to sort of introduce a different variety of uh, body types and that kind of thing. Uh, and from there we jump into shape design, which is extremely important. And this is. Uh, Mahea, she did an excellent job in this class. I actually really liked her work. Um, yeah, so, but having said that, let's uh, move on to the next part. Yeah, the the next part would be like lighting. You know, how do you how do you figure out lighting for your characters? Like, do you just put it from the top, from the side? Do you just kind of uh, do the same thing every time? And we go through different exercises to sort of maximize the best possible lighting for your own character design. Uh, here are some examples of when the students were taking on their own projects and kind of coming up with their own character designs for their own worlds or based on existing IPs. And there's Mahea again. Very cool, very cool stuff. Um, Leah did some cool things. And you could kind of, you could come in here and do really whatever you want. And it's, it could be either realistic, stylized, whether it's for uh, Pixar animation or more, um, more towards like something like Bloodborne or Final Fantasy, it doesn't matter. Uh, so this is Hantine's work. She did some incredible designs because she really reached out and did some research and really in used that research for her designs. We'll, look, we'll actually look at her finals in a moment because I think it was pretty pretty great. Um, and this is Jung, so, you know, going through the different iterations of character design and exploring different possibilities. And he chose the book Mistborn that I had recommended to him. Uh, to do for his characters. It's a pretty cool story by Brandon Sanderson. Um, oh, this is Minji's. Very cool. I like the, I really like the color palette here. And we definitely spend a week on rendering, painting, and how to find the color palettes that best suit the characters and the world that you're trying to fit them in, of course. Um, and oh, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. This is Catherine. She decided to make her own story called uh, Fish Kid, right? So she did a bunch of ex exploration and different silhouettes and shape design. And that's the Fish Kid. Um, there's different characters in her story, and it really kind of fits in sort of that Laika type world. Um, so she did this cool storyboard where the, the there's a fishing boat and there's got there's a bell and it picks up the the Fish Kid and like he, he <laughs> you can see him flopping around here like a fish and he's gasping gasping for air. Then he realizes he doesn't or for water. He realizes he can still breathe, and he's like, oh, okay, well. Uh, anyway, that's a really fun little storyboard she did. Um, and that's the lineup of the characters, and a nice little cover. So really, it's like you can come in here and do whatever you want. Kevin did some really fun stuff. He, he went through a whole series of different shape designs and story elements, and he ended up with uh, this lineup here. Uh, really well done. Um, Fun stuff. He even did like an orthographic page, the kind that you would find in like a design bible for, let's say, like uh, Atlantis or any kind of Disney movie back when they were doing things hand drawn. And he would, he did a couple key scenes and and shots like that. And then the the colored lineup, and we went through rendering and how to color, how to do lighting, uh, you know, special techniques to do that. Um, yeah. Uh, this is Caleb's stuff. He's, he's he he got pretty good pretty quickly. Uh, needless to say, some really weird stuff. But you know he he's uh, he's come a long way. Uh, and then there was Hantines. Let's take a look at that. 
Yeah, these are really great. I mean, I think she chose uh, some kind of um, Hindu mythology. So these are the characters from that. Very cool. I really love this uh, elephant design. It's based on her um, stuffed animal that she has, I believe. Uh, there's a backstory to it that I'm not really fully aware of, but it's it's there. Uh, yeah. So anyway, this, so we go through a whole bunch of different things from foundations to rendering, painting, and then uh, how to showcase your design if you want to put it in like splash art or something. So definitely take a look at the link in the description. And th again, this will be my last time teaching for a while. And uh, if you're in the area, feel free to check out the link. And um, yeah, uh, sorry for the lack of videos lately. I, I'm kind of uh, in between something right now, but big things to come. So hang in there and thanks for watching.